Welcome to E360 TV, the live streaming and on-demand destination for influential voices and enlightened audiences. We offer trending, grassroots, and purpose-driven content across a diverse range of interests. E360 TV is more than just watching programs. We offer the ability to interact with live shows connecting audiences to real, authentic influencers and storytellers while streaming to millions of devices. Real experiences. Raw conversations. One destination for it all. E360 TV. God and the angels has such, they have such a sense of humor. Listen, boy, I'm so excited to be here. I have so much to tell you guys. So, so much about the weekend, about this morning, about just now. Well, but first, where are my manners? Good morning and welcome to today's installment of Bathrobe Moments. I'm Lauren Michaels Harris. And boy, did I miss you guys Friday. There was a rerun played because I was on the road. I was in the air this time. Um, well, almost. I wasn't quite in the air, but I was in the airport. So uh, anyway, yes, on my way to DC um, for my uh, photo shoot with Virginia Hodges, uh, celebrity photographer. And um, also with me there all weekend was uh, Danny, Dano of the hit show, uh, Weekly Dose of Dano, also here on the E360 television network. And Sebastian Torres, photographer also for Danny, uh, Tor uh, Sebastian Torres, Danny Echeverria. And we had such a great time uh, um, at Virginia Rose's, uh, Virginia Rose Hodges, um, her home with her beautiful family, her beautiful pet family. Um, just a wonderful weekend. I can't even begin. I'm going to share some photos. And then also was able to hook up with so many of our good friends in the veteran community, um, many of whom our digital content creation agency has worked with in making um, 
you know, digital content commercials and whatnot for a lot of these uh, small businesses, which are veteran owned businesses. So there was a big thing at one of the bases there and we all went to it on Saturday. And I also, before I get into that, um, you remember last week I had Guy um, Villando here and he, uh, the fighter pilot, a retired pilot for Southwest Airlines, uh, author of this book, Discovering Your Authentic Truth. And he has sent me a copy of it. And he, um, this wonderful product that uh, he's a big, 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 big part of, he sent me a package I got home and it was here. And uh, all of this here, uh, sent me all of this stuff, a copy of his book, uh, the, the Water, which has like hundreds of vitamins in it, one cap full a day. So Brian and I are gonna try it and we're gonna let you know how we feel about it. Swish, um, and the name of the company is C-I-L-I by design. I'll show you more about that. So excited. Thank you so much, Guy, and your lovely wife um, for sending this beautiful package. It just is so nice. I love it when I get stuff, right? So, and anyway, I, and then, uh, Daily Dose of Dano's team presented me. Let me move the camera so you can see Coach Lauren and Daily Dose of Dano. And in the back, look at this, right? So it's just awesome. And the photo shoot, like I said, was just incredible. I never dreamed in a billion quadrillion years that I would be, it felt like I was on the set of extra, extra, extra. And it was just great. It was great. Here are some highlights from the weekend, some random pictures, if you will, because I love to take you guys with me on these wonderful journeys. There's um, our, our host for the weekend or hostess, as the case may be, Virginia Rose on my left. Um, let me see. What is she? I, wanna, I can't see it yet on the screen. Okay. On, on your left as well. And um, what was her name? I'll find out because we got a meeting this week. The young lady on the right, a veteran um, of the military and small business owner. And here is part of the team of Triple Nickel. And the guy in the red and white shirt is the um, person who created the event that we attended Saturday. And there's Ruben uh, Ayala and uh, his teammate there. So that was great. We were at dinner Saturday night um, at Maggiano's. And there we are at the event. I was pretending to be helping just for the shot. I'm keeping it real. I didn't really do anything. And here's Annette Wittenberger from A Wild Ride Called Life. Got a hat from her and it was great. Did her commercial. And it was so nice to meet people that I'd seen virtually and known for months. There is Marty Martinez and James Felt and myself. They are the host of Lounge with Legends, which premiered just a couple weeks ago. You can also find that wonderful show here on the E360 television network. And this is when we first arrived there on the left is Dano of Weekly Dose of Dano and Virginia Rose in the middle at her beautiful home and Sebastian Torres, which is uh, Dano's best friend and also his photographer. And last but not least, let me tell you about this little lady. This is Isabella. That's Marty Martinez's little eight-year-old daughter. Now listen, Saturday when I met her, she was supposed to be at home because it was her her first communion and she had her little gown on and it was so long they had tied knots in the bottom of it so it wouldn't drag the pavement and she had her necklace on which she doesn't have here yet uh it doesn't have on here it, oh it might be underneath her you know the little metal that they get and um beautiful gold and i went to now listen up this is a beautiful moment i went i kind of knelt down and I was like, hi, Isabella, because she wasn't supposed to be there. She's supposed to be at home with the grandparents and the little brother. And they were all there, Marty's parents. And uh, they drove from Florida for this day with, with Isabella and the family. So anyway, oh, and this is interesting because to the right, when you look on the wall, you'll see a little girl in the middle. And I was just telling Brian, my husband, on the way home when I was relating this story, how this little girl on the right in the picture is the world's best hugger. She was at my first event, the Power of We Symposium. She's Sean Douglas's little daughter. And I'll never forget her because she hugged me with her entire spirit, her legs, her feet, her arms, her love. And I have never forgotten it. And here now Isabella has joined the ranks of my superstar, super little heroes. Because when I've been over, I asked her, Isabella, so big day for you. What was the, so far, what's been the greatest part of your day? And she looked at me and everybody was listening. And she looked up and she says, coming here to meet you. Okay, I heard the collective, aw, I'm not kidding. You guys, see, this is what I'm talking about, what we do when we touch 
lives and we have been granted permission and access into the minds, hearts, and therefore the souls of just fellow human beings. What a wonderful honor it is to touch and be touched like that. And so I just, man, there's, there's no routing number. There is no cash app. There is no um, PayPal or anything with, with a dollar sign on it that can fill your spirit like the voice and purpose um, from a child that has no angle, has no motive, it's unconditional, and it just, I can't even, there aren't words to tell you what that moment did. That was my greatest moment of the entire year so far, and I mean that, and that's the Bella Purpose. Whew. If I could speak in tongues, I'd say Hasa Baba Ka. Bell of Purpose is ringing because when you hear that bell, it means it's all of our opportunity to be a part of something greater than ourselves. It means that someone in here, the frequency has been elevated. The promise has been fulfilled. And we are in the midst of a blessing, of a pouring in, of an anointing. And um, I just don't want you to miss that. When we can connect those moments throughout our days or throughout our weeks, it will become a consistent golden lasso, if you will, of joy and comfort throughout our lives. So take that with you, the bell of purpose. Help me welcome to the show at this point, my sidekick, my best gal, Miss Lucy McGillicuddy Ricardo. And we are drinking on, um, what is it? Hazelnut cream. Or if you're bougie, hazelnut creme mm. and it is delicious so you might remember last week before i left to go to dc i had a guest on wednesday or thursday and um i don't have the list in front of me um teresa young and she she had we had technical difficulties on her end she couldn't get in and um until halfway through so i thought you know I love what she does. I love why she does it. And I love what it does for people. So I felt it important to bring her back. Um, we don't want to half step, half ass do anything. So she's back today and uh, she's going to share with us some things. I didn't even pull up. I was so busy trying to get all these photos in and um, all that. And, you know, I'm telling you, I slept like a rock last night because it was so the energy was so high um all weekend it is like it just ooh, it's like something just you know how you throw spaghetti against the wall to see if it's done the wall of purpose to, <laughs> of the universe i was one of those post-it notes it just flung me up against the wall <laughs> you know and i was like right that's the good stuff that's the good stuff okay so anyway let's get master young up in here up in here that was a, I don't know what that was. What, what was that? Anyway, um, I am so glad. And here, I really believe you. Jay Clampett, you said it best. One entire nation happened to the weekend. Huh? I asked you, is it feeding time, Paul? Okay. So anyway, tell, oops, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Not you. Although I love her. There he is. Tell granny I said hello. Didn't we love granny? I loved me some granny. I, and I love Mrs. Drysdale too. She used to crack me up. So anyway, um, Master Young, get your notes, pads, get your phones, whatever it is, and really listen to this because I'm gonna tell you something. Master Young and what she does, what she does to pour into people is not something that she yells. She doesn't scream it. It's very subtle. It's all, it is, I could consider it a spiritual whisper. And so it's for those who want to lean in, if you will. This ain't the kind of thing where you want to sit on the edge of the pool and just dip your toes in. You want to ease yourself all the way in until you're completely submerged. So having said that, I don't need to say anything else. Let's put our hearts on the screen. Let's put our hearts into the screen, into today's purpose of us being together to pour into each other in fellowship as we bring to the stage. Uh, Master Young, Teresa Young, here she comes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, oh, oh. It's got, I didn't know it was that kind of party. Well, hold on, hold on, let me get my fan, right? Okay, let me stop, let me stop. Okay. 
Okay, I'm I'm gonna act right. I'm not gonna act up. I'm gonna be a good kid today. How are you? <laughs> oh, good. I'm all prepared. I know you are. You look great. And what is that you're holding, pray tell? Uh, yeah. So we talked about uh, acupuncture without needles, and that's what we are showing people to practice and help the energy flow like they're in a session, right? Okay. Yeah. Are we really doing this today? We'd love to. Because but I know you do we'll talk stuff. a little bit, and then we want to explain uh, to you or the audience how come it works, right? What works okay. it, right? Mm. Is that good? So this is the uh, this is the trees uh, uh, morning look. <laughs> I love I well I well, okay, that's yeah. your morning look. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared of your afternoon look because you're looking good. Well, thank you. So well, let me ask you real quick. You and because I don't. I'm hoping I'm not confusing my guests. Uh, you with someone else. You do the remote remote sessions too. Tell yeah. talk about that real quick. Um, we. Well, energy can be just sent out like a cell phone. The signal just go across, you know, okay. and then people can pick it up anywhere in the world. Like with you and me now, we can blast to you and anyone in the whole workshop online can receive it. Okay. Uh, so you, you, you'll share some of that with us today? Well, we can have fun. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm going I'm to leave it to you. I'm going to pop off. Really? <laughs> okay. Have off. fun. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do my best. Hi, everyone. It's Master Teresa. So who is Master Teresa? I am an um, um, international uh, recognized uh, teacher of Qigong. And I help people to reclaim their health and wellness by practicing uh, simple breathing exercises with movements. And we meditate with movements. It's mindful and it help people to return to themselves. And when people return to themselves because they're connecting with their body, they start to relax and they feel almost want to use the word safe. It has a feeling of homecoming. And then you feel good about yourself. And when you feel good with yourself, your circulation improves, stress reduces, and then it just works, right? And the magical thing is sometimes people call it uh, acupuncture without needles too. I've been doing this 20 years, um, 25 years instead. And when I first started, when I was 38 years old, gee, 38 years plus 25, right? So anyways, the story is I was really sick and what I was... Uh, through, I threw up blood when I was even 20 years old. And by the time I was 38 years old, I was sick all the time, fever, temperature, cold, uh, allergies, pain, you know, headaches, migraines, leg pain, back pain, all kinds of things. So my health was so weak and with three young children to take care and Qigong saved my life. It brought me back to good health slowly and I could conquer the allergies with cats within a year and it was it's almost too magical to believe so I like to help you to understand what it means really so we're going to do some practice together and I thank Lauren Harris for giving me the stage today it's so uh, amazing so why is it you're welcome <laughs> okay why is it acupuncture like no needles like when we are not well if you look at the body right just like, like with acupuncture point right so energy the chi is the base of uh reflexology acupuncture and traditional chinese medicine so energy is actually is creation right so you can say you are energy or you can say you are made of chi so we are using different ways to move the chi in the body, like food, nutrition, yes, supplements, feeling good, go for a trip, go for a retreat, and talk with some nice people like Lauren, right? So they will they give you good energy. Another way we can, yeah, exactly. Another way we can actually do is uh, we can also relax with some breathing, and. 
then what does it do, right? Say if this is a health problem, we stick it here. Health problems here. Here. And then we have the top of the body and the lower part of the body too. And then here, say this is digestive problems. So digestion use the uh, the second most energy of the body. <laughs> that was the first one, right? I'll tell you later. So the second, okay, so the second most energy is used in digestion. That's why eating well is important because it doesn't burn your energy, wasting your resources uh, by dealing with the food that's not right for your body. Now, so if there's a little energy block, we say a digestive problem is an energy block, aches and pain, uh, not feeling good, a headache, migraines, or cancer, fibroids, they all means low energy in that area. So say there's a problem here. So when we do the practice, we are connecting the whole body, overall circulation, moving the chi in the whole body. And everyone can do that too. And as we are improving everything in the body, it's like we map acupuncture all over the body, but there's no needles. But we also can use a uh, specialist like an acupuncturist to uh, help with certain things. We use them. But then we can also have home practice. There are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can do some every day and help yourself. It's like Chinese yoga too. Chinese yoga, right? So when you are practicing slowly, oh, I guess the way we should say, it, I just want to explain why you have to keep practicing. Because people why don't do you have to it. keep practicing? Yeah, why? Exactly. What? Then I practice. Don't want to practice, right? What's up with that? Yeah. yeah so we, when we practice, we feel good. It's like this gone, right? But then tomorrow, uh, next day, then if this is the energy medicine coming from the practice, or I send you energy, right? I help you, right? I do remote healing, personal session. So I took it off. But then the problem actually is very deep. So you still have it, you can have it back again. And then it can have it back again and back again until you clean everything out. Then you don't need to even practice Qigong because it's completely gone. That's why even people go for acupuncture um, session, they do more than one time, right? Now, so when we practice, we are helping the circulation over the body. And then we have specific energy for specific uh, issues. Like say you are lung deficiency, we can do things different. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So, okay. So you're saying, let's, re let's recap in case somebody just popped in. Yeah. So you're showing us right now where, where to concentrate for specific issues. Uh, we can. Okay, so send me some energy real quick. That's really what I came here for. I just didn't know how to ask. Oh, that's that's awesome. Uh, good. Nah. So so good. So we just go into relax, and everyone can do together. Let's say, uh, Lauren, uh, your left side of your neck, or everyone, uh, let's focus on the left side of our neck. What's wrong with the left side of my neck? What you see? I'm not you saying see something? I'm just saying that can we make that looser by thinking about oh, it? Oh, we like that. You guys put into the comments if you're participating. Yeah. If you're going to do this energy thing with oh. it, put it in. I'm in. Say yeah. I'm in. Okay, yeah. come on. Don't drive. Eh? <laughs> What'd you say? Don't drive. Do not drive now. Don't. Oh, that's right. She said when she does this stuff, don't, don't do it if you're behind the wheel. You should look ahead, right? Right. So look don't rip. It's going to work so well. Ahead. You don't want to be or operating heavy machinery. Exactly. No. So or the focus, this. yeah, we're shifting the focus. So the mind focus on the body, and that's when you start talking to the body, and then the body start listening to you. Now, so I want to show you it, it can. So say if I move my head left and right, then we will feel, okay, this is what I have right now, right? It's not too bad. I feel kind of stiff. But I can be better right away. Yeah. The mind there, it's so easy. That's what a chi is moving the chi with a mindful uh, practice, and it's easy. So we say we turn the head, now exposing one side of the body. So say the left side. 
So breathe in, breathe out. And then you keep thinking about this side becomes like that. Breathe in, breathe out. Tightness goes away. My mind in my body. Breathe in, breathe out. Now what am I concentrating on? You focus on the tightness disappear, like they, they're gone. The, the, the tightness goes away. Does the this it, work for people with ADHD? Huh? Does this work for people with ADHD? Because I have ADHD. Uh, can you follow me? I'm trying. Oh, so let, let me, so we start with a little relaxation. So you follow the relaxation and then we continue. For sure, it works okay. for you, okay. for sure. It will actually help you to uh, fo to learn how to focus easier. That's what I need. Yeah, no, the, it's about training. It's all training, just like speaking okay. on stage, you need a coach, right? So relax your head, breathe in, relax your neck, breathe in, breathe out. Relax the shoulder, breathe in, breathe out. Relax the chest, breathe in, breathe out. Relax the abdomen, breathe in, breathe out. Relax the back, breathe in, breathe out. So we get a bit slower with gradually, breathe in, relax the arms. The fingers mm. breathe in relax your low back mm. breathe in breathe out relax your leg your toes mm. your feet breathe in relax the whole body then we go back to the head again breathe in can we relax the head even more deeper breathe in Relax the head more. I'm going to be sleeping here. Yeah, you rest when your body, you, you heal when you rest. Oh. Rest the busy mind. Relax the neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Can I relax my neck more? Breathe in. Breathe out. Well, you have to encourage yourself. If my neck get lighter, it might mean a lot to me. Mm. That I can do many things in my life because I am start controlling how I feel around my body. So relax the neck, breathe in, breathe out. So the mind focus on the neck, breathe in, breathe out. And then as you start moving your neck a little bit now, instead of focus the same way, start moving a little bit and you return back to your left side and then you start to feel, mm, mm -hmm. it start to change a little mm -hmm. bit. Sure it is. It is. It's the mind moving with your chi of your body is moving to where you are telling it to go. Mm. And the body is listening to your instructions. And they're listening to my instructions too. So because the uh, my energy is a bigger energy, I'm commanding your body to listen to me and relax i just not asking much i'm just asking you what relax breathe. Yeah. just relax relax right. so as we relax then the left side seems to be a little bit lighter i love her why it's the left side then what about the right side yeah like the mind to the right side right mm -hmm. for the people uh they need something to convince them to to tell them they're not crazy then they have to focus this a little bit longer to convince themselves it is really true. The mind matters. Mm. Your mind, your thoughts, your actions, the body respond to you. Positive is so important. When you're positive, the body respond positively. I want you to relax. That's it. Okay, that's, yeah. that's so it. So, so you're healing the neck now, the circulation improved, right? Now, let me tell you something. You want to know what happened with me when you were doing that? Yeah. For real. And I want to know, you guys put your experience in the comments. Mm -hmm. What happened when you were doing this? I know something happened because it did with me and I'm a tough cookie. Yeah. Crack. Mm -hmm. So what happened was I thought I was like, okay, I'm relaxed. But when you specifically said each spot, Yes. I realized I was not as relaxed as I could be because every I felt to go like the floor dropped out and it just went 
but it didn't work. I mean, I, it didn't change until you told it, told me to change it. Yes. I, it was like, it was being held like this. And then when you said relax the finger or a finger, well, I'm not going to do it. What? You, you have to tell yourself, do it or don't do it. Right. Right. But it was really interesting because I really thought I was already relaxed. But then as you went down the different points and you said your neck, your left side, your right side, they literally went even further into relaxation. It was interesting. Yeah. There you go. You got a bell ringer. Yeah. So our whole uh, Qigong program is showing different movements people can do themselves. You know, this kind of thing is not as popular because it's not a consumable products. We are freeing people up to help themselves. So we do it with love, you know, as it helped me, you know, 25 years now, how can I not tell nice people like Lauren, right? Hey, Lauren, yeah. you know, this is missing. People will be so peaceful if they just go back to feel, uh, reconnect with themselves. So easily. For instance, we have other things we can do together. Okay. Yeah. Interactive. Uh, so uh, let's help uh, the nose. Uh, allergy seasons. So, you know, the acupuncture here. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. So what we can do is we just rub here. Just rub here. Yeah. How about 100 times? Why don't you have a good day? Love you too. Oh. Yeah. 100 times. Oh. Yeah, so so your fingers is on uh, pressure points. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, and then the sinus is next to it. So you generate energy. You're making it warmer. Yeah. Warmth, warmth heals the body, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, <gasps> how's how did you make that bell go off? You oh. went da da ding. Well, don't worry about it. So, oh. no, so okay. words, that, that is the internet helping me. I didn't ask for it. They just do it. Okay. it well, it was perfect timing. Yes. I yeah. thought you made it happen. So I know when you do this, then, mm. so if this is the only thing you take away from this interview, open the nose like this. And I have a lot of uh, Facebook, YouTube uh, free. Uh, it's on uh, the chat, you know, it's free. People can just learn on Facebook. We have it on you, you, YouTube too. We put things on Instagram. We're trying to teach the world about, don't worry. There are many things you can push up your lung. I had tuberculosis when I was 20 years old, 40 right. years ago. And I threw up blood, right? Okay, I mean, you already said that. That's gross. Exactly. I know how it feels but, uh, with short of breath. Open the lungs. You know what it feels like after doing that? Yeah. You know those things you breathe and you put them in your nose and go, those yeah. mixed things? Oh, okay. It feels open like that. Uh -huh. Isn't that nice? Just, now do some more. It might even, even be better. Oh. Right? 300 times? 300. Well, 100, 200, 300. Okay. What, what I'm trying to tell you is very I like it. It's very safe to do longer. This might be good to do before you go on the stage to to talk because you want to make sure uh, your 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 breathing and all those things, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I could get hooked on this. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Yeah. Okay. What else? Is it? But isn't it nice to breathe? It is. Let me ask you about this. What about people that have issues with joint pain? You know, like, you know, arthritis, yeah. fibromyalgia, yeah. Um, you know, yes. injuries and just anything in the joint. Yes. What can we do about that, Master mm -hmm. Teresa? So they can learn uh, to to practice the overall health Qigong. We call that level one. Qigong. So the movements are very gentle and soft. Okay. Um, with pain is... Hmm. People have pain, they may go and take a pill to numb the pain. Mm, sound familiar? Yeah. Or okay. well, do something about not having the pain and without taking the pills, right? 
Sorry, okay. I had to tell Alexa to shut up. She just started talking on her own. Yeah, we love her. It's rude. We just love her. We love her. Who? We love anyone. Don't Alexa. Any doesn't matter. Anyone just needs some love. Okay. If you Alexa. Love her, if you love her, is a he is a dog. You love them. Watch this. Watch this. Alexa, I love you. That's right. She said, thanks. It's good to be appreciated. You're right. Yeah. When people are upset, you just they just need more love. Aww. Yeah. I am. Um, well, I've been doing this 26 years. Uh, love is the answer, really. Girl. Yeah, so, I mean, master. Yeah, yes, so, it is. Yeah. And then there's what a lot of voices people are struggling with. Well, let me ask you a question. It's a download I'm getting. So I know it's a good question. Are you ready for this one? Oh, I'm ready. Thank you. What is a headache? Um, the headache is a pressure inside the head, right? That's what they call headache, right? Ache in the head. So so if the, we just look at if the head has, um, as we say, right? So, so if the head oh. has something like that, right? It, yes. That right. So you want to take that away. So you want to remove that. Remove that block. This this thing. You want to remove it away. Get it out. I used to have migraine. Oh, I could not even go under the sun. So when you keep when you practice the energy work, you keep moving the energy. So you will you can learn specifically how to move the energy out, or you can just start with something general and then just take this away, and the headache goes away. So. I, I can okay. take this so, uh, away sometime instantly with people too. Well, it, then you just take it away. Um, so that will be understand uh, the flow of energy. Now, Bruce Lee said, "Be like the water." Right? Love Bruce Lee. Yeah, Bruce Lee said, "Be like the water." So be like the water. The chi is like the water. Okay. If you think about the chi works like the water, then you start to understand how chi works. The water will go to where nobody wants to go. Ooh. Good one. So, so when we heal ourselves, we have to go where people don't go. So, ninety-nine percent of the world conform. Mm. One percent is innovative. Just one percent. Or uh, Doctor Di Martini said that. John Demartini. Okay. So for you, you said right at the beginning of the interview, this is not for everyone because it's 1%, 2% people that that are ready to take charge of the energy. Mm. And then other people just like to swallow the pill. Girl, you better. You know. But, but for Ooh. me, since I had, I had so many pills I had before already. Preach. You know, that's why I just felt I had enough. You you know what? You know what I love about you? Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about you, because I love a lot about you. Yeah. Is that you just, you're so nonchalant. You're like, just, child, just do it. It's easy. And yeah. I believe you. Okay, come on. Just like this. Just now. Yeah, so easy. Easy. So, so they are very scientific, uh, like, thousands of research studies all over the world in all the hospitals they have and they will not talk about this they will not tell you the lung have no muscles the heart has no muscles they don't stop working right can you stop your lung working no don't want yeah, to better not right right you think so that's why if you don't exercise the lung will be stay like this Mm. You have to open the lungs, right? Right. So the whole day, what do the people do? Da, 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 like this, right? Da, 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 da. Close the lung. Like this is closing the lung, right? Oh. Do you think, is, is this open the lung or this is closing the lung? Closing. Yeah. Like this is what? Closing the lung. Did you, did you type like this? No. You type this, right? like this, right? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you close your lung every day for work or for right. entertainment, right? Don't act like y'all knew that. Yeah, we, we, we forget, right? Yeah, we That's forget. When, when people exercise, they are healthier. But then we we also know that people are getting older, 
although I'm older, the joints, ligaments getting less, you know, the things, the body changing, the glands are shrinking from 27 years old, a lot of the glands are shrinking. So the system circulation, the plaque in the blood, uh, your eating is terrible, then you have plaque all over and the list goes on. Right. And then we say, which pills to take? One pill leads, leads to the another pill. So oh. if alternative are uh, just simple practicing, like, that's why people go on yoga. It's nice. But, but then we are not going into ourselves deep enough. But if we want to go to ourselves deep enough, enough, and then we have the confidence because you are healing some health issues you have, it's very empowering because you feel you have some power. Power. You have power because you did it. Ooh. Yes. I'm loving this. You make it, you you make it so. Yourself, you, huh? can, you are the one can heal yourself. I help you. Right? Yeah. But it, there's some work to do. Okay. So the work is what? You have to practice. Mm. So when you go for a doctor or anything, you, you don't practice anything. You swallow or, oh. or you lie down in a bed to get a massage, which is helpful, right? Yes. But have you thought about you can practice like you're having a massage plus you go for a massage too? I so never the key that. is why is a few percent people interested is because they have to change a lifestyle. Mm. So you're saying a lot of people, well, it's true. I say it and I hear a lot of people say it's true. You have to be willing to get rid of something old in order to go find something new. You have to go create a new habit. So research has even said that uh, practice of Qigong can help people with cocaine craving. It's a research online. Just Google it. With what craving? Cocaine. Oh, cocaine. I thought you said cold cream. Oh, I was like, um, excuse me, I am not giving up my cold no, cream. Even cold or no cold. Uh -huh. So they also have research on diabetes with Qigong practice, right? Or right. uh, it's not that they cannot yes. say, oh, this heal what, but then they have tried to see when people practice certain things, what kind of result people can have. And some could be with craving and some could be on weight loss and some could be from heart and some could be from all kinds of uh, problems, right? Or for craving. Day day. How do you get rid of cravings? Well, I can't, uh, we have to have workshop on this. We need to have a long time with the people how to get to themselves and feel good about themselves. Then they have, then they will, they will, when the people are very good, <laughs> like, like themselves first, right? Then they will make a decision to change some habits. Mm. So say, say for instance, for instance, everyone knows smoking is not good, but still, still smoking, right? Yes. Yes. Why? You, you are the guy, you tell me. Because I think it's a selfish choice. It's, I think it's, it's some type of weakness mm. because I, here's why people that say, I can't, I can't, I can't. But then fast forward 25 years and they say, if you don't stop doing fill in the blank, you're going to die now because somebody with a white lab coat on similar to yours says it. Somehow now people can do it. And you know why? Because they say you need to quit this or you're going to die. Before that, people said, well, you know, I want to quit. There's a difference between want and need. That's how I feel. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, just exercise. So Qigong oh. can be uh, something uh, quite nice, you know, just like a morning thing. Ooh. And then the whole routine of different practices. That's what I was going to ask you about next, this. Yeah, and that's why uh, if you are in Facebook, we have a whole page of videos um, there. You can practice. Don't need to oh, do anything. Yes. On a chat box, and then we also have uh, Instagram. We have YouTube for you. Uh, we have a by donation class for you to join. We have free class I do every month 
on global healing. The next is always on the uh, second Tuesday uh, of Toronto time. Yeah. And it's great yeah. healing. I, I just do healing uh, through the pandemic. Uh, eight, I did 18 times already. Just just help people that come to the room. I don't need any money. You can just join, you know. If you want to donate uh, to charity, we donate to the Kids Canada to help children in Uganda. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, I just dropped it. Yeah, oh. so uh, the video is good. Everyone, you can have it on YouTube, you can have it on Facebook, you can go to Instagram, they all have videos. And I just dropped the link to the free workshops and whatnot into the comment section. Okay. So I want you guys to go and grab it. Uh, I mean, come on now, you guys, there's no excuse. Um, Master Young has taken the excuses off the table purely with a free offer. So if you're like, well, I gotta wait till I get the right amount of money. No, don't lie. Don't lie to yourself by saying it's too expensive. I'm too tired. I'm too busy. Get to the word T-O-O and put it where it belongs at the end of the sentence. Come on, I'm gonna do it. Will you do it with me too? Thank you. There you go. There's something very important I want to bring this out. Okay. So uh, my parents both died already. Uh, my mother died at 94 and my father died at 96. My teacher also died in the sleep. And I picked up the torch from my teacher because I was his like first can a student in Canada. So what I actually came to realize is the people actually practice Qigong when they die, they go to sleep. Isn't that nice? You slept and you're gone. And that was the kind oh, of- Oh, you saying they practice it and then instead of like, you know, oh, God, Elizabeth, I'm coming, honey. I'm coming. Yeah, they they went to sleep. And then they don't wake up and they die. Uh, and then my father just died at 96. He practiced a couple times uh, a day. And he also had a cancer before when he was in his 70s and uh, thyroid cancer. And he actually recovered, uh, no problems. And But then he was really practicing Qigong. So when he was in his late 60s, he also did not make blood. And he also went to the hospital that there's no cure. And he practiced Qigong, he never had the blood disorder or anymore. He actually needed four, four bags of blood at the time. Wow. So I have this book, uh, Life Force, a Miraculous Power of Qigong. It's number one international bestseller. Yes, it is. Like to read. Yeah, yeah. It's, on, uh, it's on Kindle Unlimited too. Okay. Uh, well, it's all on my website, and I'll have other books that people are interested in feelings, unlocking your happiness within. Mm, uh, living the interested in that. Qigong. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Have some books. So, so the reason another thing I want to say is, you no, know, we love the people uh, in our life so much. Uh, you know, there are people we really love so much, right? And then, for um, I said, the important thing to understand is. When my parents, they were old in, say, nursing home, right? They have joint pain. Answering your question, they have joint pains here and there. Okay. I don't go and just spoon feed them. I go to send them energy. I mm. clean the pain for them. So when we are, just so that when we are very old, we don't have much energy anymore. So it's very difficult to try to heal yourself at that moment. So you can meditate since you're practicing you can meditate how to do it but you can really enjoy people give you life force so i go there to heal my parents i take the pain away and who can hire a master to heal their family it's expensive right but the children can be the person doing it they just have to learn this don't watch them die and you should be there for them you should do it for them but you have to start learning how to do it and start mm. trying to figure out step one to the step two, right? Man, you're yeah. so you you mean that stuff. You're passionate about it, and I I, I feel you, Master Teresa. I, I love it. I I just really hate people uh go uh, seeing people when I was at the nursing home. They they come every day to spoon fed the parents, but no one tell them they should be practicing qigong. It's not just something you can just start doing today. You have to have some habits forming that for a while to come to the point you're going to do it, right? 
it, it's a process of a lifestyle. So you don't have to believe what I say. You can just go to my YouTube and listen to all the crazy testimonials. I post a couple on the Facebook, you know, the other crazy people said what happened to them. Right. Yes. You, you, know, you know what? I feel you. I'm telling you what, and you guys, I know you agree with me. Yeah. Uh, Master Teresa, it's like this. You're like, I can feel it where mm -hmm. you're so what you go, you know, look, it, it, what are you thinking? How can you not be doing this? <laughs> I get it. And, you know and that's what, what makes me know. go. Most people don't, don't help themselves. They don't want to help themselves unless they, they bring money home. Mm. Agree, and they, unless they are sick, girl, you better go on and preach then. Because unless you're they're really through. sick, they have they're really sick. They can't earn money, so they will fix their health problems. So if they have health problems, they still can make the money. They don't don't do anything about it because making money for the family, uh, the training is that is very important. It is yes, but when there's no health, there's no no wealth, no no anything really. Mm. So y'all better listen. So, so the thing is, mm. if you want to be well, you do qigong. If you want to have a quick fix, swallow the pill. Man, you just <laughs> if you want to be well, then do this. If you don't, swallow a pill. Your choice. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. The pills works, right? It they work too. Or when they don't work, they, they might look for other things. Or can we actually make things, um, uh, how about taking the side effects of the medicine uh, to make it easier? That might be nice too. That's a whole nother thing, right? Yeah. So okay. can I ask you something? Yeah. When, if a person, when a person practices this, there's two questions I want. I'm going to give you both of them, then you answer them. We have about six minutes left. So I want to know if a person wants to start if some, if a person starts practicing now and say they're 40 say they're 40 years old and they start practicing now how much a, how much life can they add to their opportunity of living by practicing this hypothetically just from your experiences yeah so one thing we, we will say this way everyone in an energy practice is more vibrant looking than anyone that don't it's not about living how long. It's, it's about living a quality life and not looking for your pills and needles. I'm, I'm with you because I already know you're probably going to live to be 130. And I'm, you know, because what, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I can just sense because you know this. You, what, you, you love people by telling them do this. Even if you don't practice, you can tell people you do it, right? At least you have to tell them you do it. People don't tell people the things that is not relating. I don't want to say that a lot of people yeah. neglecting telling telling people something important because their mind is on other things. Girl, she ain't playing with us up in here today. You put that. You know what? I'm. That's what I. I, I promise. I almost said swear. I promise. That that's what I love about you because you're just you make it so plain. It's like is, I, I find myself feeling guilty over and over because I was like, oh my goodness, she's right. That's exactly what I do, or that's exactly what I don't do, or what I'm not doing. So I receive this, um, Master Teresa. Thank I you. truly receive it. So is there a way can we practice sending energy to each other? Um, People, right? Our friends, our family, can we send them energy? Yeah. Well, uh, that's why people talk about prayers, right? Mm. So uh, energy, if you practice Qigong, it's like your prayers will go out better. <laughs> is that like, is better? Yeah, like putting yeah. some jet fuel behind mm -hmm. it. So when I do my global remote healing, I show people how to pass the energy out uh, in a group format, in online, on a Zoom. Welcome you to, to be the special guest for the evening. Or oh, anyone can join. It's just one of the... Um, the workshop free and it's, it's coming on the second Tuesday uh, of each month, right? And then we do that. We pass the light to the whole world. Uh, so, chi is light, right? We want yeah. to help people to pass the love to the world, to make the world a better place by sending the intention at the same time. Oh. 
And then we also take care of ourselves too. You know, you, you can only love someone, someone as much you love yourself. You're going to make me cry. It's so beautiful. And it, you, it's so clear. It's just, it's soft. It's, it's, just, it's not forced. It's just free. It's, it's like water. Free. It's like free. Exactly. But you love people by uh, sharing your light. So your, your light is really your love to them. And then you forgive them. But how can you forgive them when you don't even can forgive yourself? Oh, shaking my head. So that's why going back to is empower ourselves, return to peace. And then when you keep on going to go to, into peace, and then you are actually holding the key of life. And then the chi is the key of life. <sighs> and it's just beautiful. So how can I not uh, tell people when it has done so much to me, right? Yes. So we have to keep doing this and need more people to tell the message out. Stop practicing. Don't worry about what's going on in the world. Boost up your immunity. Boost up your lung. Feel good. Relax. And send your love to this world. And everyone send a love to this world. I'm sure the world will change better sooner. As that is the base of the law of attraction. Oh. Intention. This would be the time if I was in a Baptist church, I would get the choir <laughs> to come and do a A and B selection right now. Yeah, it is Sister really. Rosetta, come and bless us with a song. Yeah, I just you, to send the blessings. Yes, because yeah. that's what you have been doing all hour long. Listen, everybody, if you'd like to continue the dialogue with Master Teresa, I am on the screen as we speak, rotating some connectors and I will drop all of them. One is already in your comment section and I will drop the other two right at the close of the show. But uh, if you have a show, a podcast, if you write articles, blogs, uh, if you stand on street corners with a megaphone, if you get on the phone and you talk to people on a daily basis, then I'm asking you to reach out to Master Teresa. Like she said, even if it isn't for you, pass it forward to someone who could make the choice that for whatever reason, you're not willing to at this point. You may see their life change in such a way. Yeah. You know that you had a hand in it, that it may be the very thing that now comes back to pick you back up for that very same blessing. Yeah. Master Teresa, I want to thank you so much. You are so passionate, so transparent, and so authentic. It is refreshing and I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you so much. Anything that we can do, I can do to be of service to you and your message simply ask. And I want you all to get out there. This is a great resource. It is a wonderful opportunity. I feel it through my spirit through and through from top to bottom, bottom to top, side to side, side to side, corner to corner and corner to corner. And I know from my own experience, when I feel something like that about something like this, it is, it is a divine anointing. So look for your own markers and do what you know you need to do. I will see you again soon. Master Teresa, thank you so much. We can't wait to have you back again. Again, everybody, there are all of the connectors and I'll put them in. Anything you'd like to say in closing? Uh, this, come, this came up just now. Mother Teresa, I'm Master Teresa, but Mother Teresa said that if you cannot help thousands of people, at least help one. Yes. Starting in most cases with ourselves. Yes. That's a great thing. And it's a great way to close. And I want, where's my thing? I got to find that so I can look at you guys. I'm just so I, I'm like, I, I was sitting here going, boy, I wish I wasn't having to control all this stuff back here. Cause I want to just go like this, but I got it. I got it. I got it. Listen, yes. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. God yes. willing at 8 AM central again yes. for another episode of bathroom moments. Tomorrow, my guest yes. is Tim Chung. He is a kid that I found um, uh, in, in Chicago, who is the master of happiness. Everything he does, he does to shed happiness, share happiness with everyone that he meets. So he's going to be here tomorrow. And then Wednesday, Dr. Mark Gomez is back. He's going to talk about um, what's going on with people sitting on the fence, those who have had the vaccinations, those who haven't, those who just flat out want, won't. And what should we be thinking about now as far as the pandemic and how to move and navigate 
from this point forward. That's Wednesday's show. And that's all I'm going to give you for today. Dr. Teresa, Dr. Teresa, Master Teresa, have a wonderful day. You guys have a wonderful day. Get out there now and change the world. One yeah. person at a time, one story at a time. And remember Thank you, this. Lauren. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You guys be the blessing you want to see in the world. I'll hope to see you tomorrow, God willing, on the front porch for our next episode of Bathrobe Moments. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.